is so cool. We are here back on the Morning Brew with friends, and this is James and Jen, and you guys are some game developers, and you have a brand new game that you're developing called Starfighter VR, and this is, is it going to be demoed at the Mini Maker Fair? Yeah, actually, so right now we're kind of in pre-alpha, so mm -hmm. actually our friends and family haven't even played this yet, oh. so you guys are actually going to be the first to try it out for the first time. To even see it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That well, is very cool. We've, seen, we've shown screenshots and so forth, right. but no one's actually gotten to put their hands on it this yet. Is, it's like a Morning Brew first. Exactly. Like a world premiere of an awesome Oculus Rift video here this morning. So, this is Oculus Rift, and this is a cool thing. And this is, not many people know what this is yet, but we've heard about the 3D stuff. Mm -hmm. And Jim, maybe you can put this on and tell us like how this kind of works. Yeah. So it looks a little goofy, and it's not nearly as heavy. It, you think because it's large, it's heavy, but it's really, really lightweight, right? Oh yeah, it's definitely lightweight. Um, yeah, there's um, two lenses that focus. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're given two images, which you see as one. That's how the 3D works. It, it's kind of like the old style uh, Viewmaster I had when I was a kid. Exactly. Pretty but it's much. got a moving, just like a, a moving moves. pictures yeah, behind yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and it's full, like, full computer monitor quality yes. inside mm -hmm. the headset. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. So it, it, it's definitely, so the technology isn't quite there yet. Um, the, the Oculus Rift actually hasn't released a consumer version yet, mm -hmm. so they're going to do that. Next I was going to ask how you even got this one. Yeah, it's a development kit. So it's called the Dev Kit 2. Um, so it's basically, if you're a developer, you can you know email uh, Oculus Rift, and mm -hmm. you know they'll provide you with um, a, a kit for a fairly expensive amount of money. Right. Um, but uh, but once you have it, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. So Very cool. we're going to be showing it off to a bunch of people, and actually. Um, Jen is involved with a company in town called Explore Media, oh, and yeah. they're very interested in uh, doing a something like a 3D cafe, mm -hmm. uh, where people could come and just you know play 3D games or you know watch 3D movies and stuff like that. So that's something we're we're very interested in, and we're hoping to bring here to Albuquerque. Well, Alon certainly has big ideas. Oh, I know yeah. down there at Explore Media, he's got some very cool. He's with the ABQ ID companies too. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. And actually, next Friday, he's going to be pitching some of these ideas at the demo day, which will be great fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The um, but so how do you? I mean, we talk about this stuff and the 3D mm -hmm. stuff and the 3D idea, and it's it's really getting traction kind of in the pop culture world. Is it a real thing yet? I mean, are we there? Are we at the point where we can actually go out and buy these things, and are they going to change our world soon? I think they're working towards it. Yeah. Um, it's still got a lot of hype, but it's not to the point that it's everything's professional. It's just everyone's playing. Uh, yeah, for now. I mean, so it's... Uh, at the Game Developers Conference, which we were both at, both this year and last year, uh, we got to see some pretty in-depth demos from Oculus Rift and from uh, Sony's Project Morpheus. And are they things that are beyond games? Well, they're they're doing interesting things with the technology. Mm. I mean, so like one of like the kind of the cooler demos I saw was you actually were able to control little 3D avatars that would come and like show up on your shoulder and oh, you know yeah. very taking it to like a kind of a next level that you wouldn't traditionally think of kind of interfacing you know video games with the real world so it's definitely and there's a lot of applications for that as mm -hmm. you can imagine i mean like if you could have like a 3d avatar that's guiding you through some procedure you know or through a map in a strange city that i've never been to exactly or, yeah you know, so there's all sorts of i mean google's doing some very interesting stuff with you know augmented reality on phones where mm -hmm. they have their translate stuff i said it's like they had they said it to like the labamba video and it's basically like they should you show it on a menu and if it's in Spanish it translates it into English oh, or awesome. into Hindi or into whatever oh that's very cool yeah exactly so that the technology is rapidly kind of getting to an adult stage but it's mm -hmm. still just maybe a year or two away not quite there yet. not quite there yet. the uh, when is Oculus Rift going to release a consumer version of this thing so or they're, do we know say, yet? they're saying 2016 okay. we don't know what quarter but that's the, that's the plan okay and so uh, the more and more we play with this, the more and more we're thinking that we might actually make a go of doing uh, a full release game on this. That'd be cool. Yeah, so we'd be one of the first there, and which kind of excites us a little bit. So, right. yeah. one of the, there's Google Cardboard, too. I mean, this yes. is the kind of yeah. thing you can do with that, because that's the one. It's kind of this home kit you can get, and it's it's a cardboard piece that goes right here with your phone. Yeah, exactly. And it turns your phone, and it splits your phone into two halves. Right. Mm -hmm. And that your eyes can line up on. Right. Is that the kind of thing that really will be more the consumer side of this, and this will be more the serious gamer thing, or? It's hard to tell at this point. I mean, it's one of those things where, you know, I think until like something like the Wii came out, where right. everyone's getting up playing tennis right. or whatever, like everyone didn't think, you know, games were gonna hit the mainstream. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, like to see. even my parents went out and bought a Wii. They were like, okay, finally a game system we can get behind. You right, know? exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, there's so many potential applications for this that it could be one of those things where, yeah, maybe it starts off with hardcore gamers, but eventually gets into everyone's home. 
Cool. Yeah, well, let's see if we can try this thing on yeah, absolutely. here. Absolutely. See how this works. We'll trade places here at the sure. table. Because this thing, I've tried on a couple of these different ones, but never the Oculus Rift. This one really is the the premium yes. when it it's comes to... It's what started the whole VR movement, I let's think. Let's see here. Yeah. Now, how do I put this on oh, without here. getting tangled uh, up? Here you go. Yeah, just put it uh, there we go. All right. And I so can't see anything. It's totally <laughs> black. It's totally so dark. Pull something up for you here in just a second. Oh, wait. So, and you're going to uh, put my hand first, on the I'm mouse? First, going to put your hand right over here. Oh, so my gosh. Feel, feel I found the keyboard. Yeah, here's the arrow keys. So left and right arrow are going to be your roll. Okay. And so then we're going to bring it down here. Hang on a second. I'm still seeing nothing in here, but that's okay. Here it goes. Uh, nothing quite yet. Not quite yet. But and... I'm hearing the sounds. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy cow! Can you guys see what I'm seeing out yeah. there? Hopefully. This is craziness. And there's, so you can go. So that and... what the craziest thing about this overall, though, mm -hmm. is that there's this giant thing in front of my face that looks about 80 feet wide. This is health and safety warning. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't walk so I can't so walk around. The first thing you're going to want to do is touch these arrows here, and oh, that should make is... that message disappear. It did. Uh, so then, as you can kind of see, oh, oh I'm shooting you stuff. Get, you got hit yeah. by someone. Oh, I'm. I <laughs> thought I was shooting things. Side. Okay, do here, I? I'll tell you what, let's try one more time. I, three <laughs> seconds in the game, and I'm already dead. You know who I want to see pilot this thing is our drone pilot. Sure, he can we can come bring on him on over. Wants. And see if, see how he does. See if the, the professional Air Force pilot can actually do way better than me. Okay, so let me stay better, stay alive for more than three seconds before he gets okay, hit with something. Yeah, let me go ahead and take the mouse for you real yes. quick. Do your thing. You're the developer. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right. So. So are go you, ahead and I, orient yourself in here. Your, in your guys' minds, is this something that's just cool because it's 3D, or is this something cool because it's technology? I think a little bit of both. Yeah. I mean, we're, one of the things you'll notice is if you look to your left right now, you see those fighters over there? Oh, I You do. normally wouldn't be able to see that if you were just playing on a screen. Wow. You know? so it's, is that somebody I get to shoot right yeah, there? Yeah, go ahead and yeah. click. Yeah, see that little green bolt that went off that way? So that's you shooting. So the, if you can actually hit something, it'll... Uh, I totally will. <laughs> oh. They'll explode in a little ball of fire. Oh. I am looking all around. I probably look like a, more, more of a goofball than... It's a little disorienting, actually. Yes, when it is. Bigger. It takes some getting used to. Absolutely. I oh, still can't hit it. I'm getting oh. close. I'm used to playing on these games that have a... Uh... Oh, did oh I, I, got, I got one. I got one. Excellent. One. Okay. <laughs> this is really a lot of fun. Yeah. I could find myself just getting completely immersed in this. Yeah. And playing that for hours. The... Uh, <laughs> You know, with the technology side of this stuff, I mean, this is just the beginning, right? Yes, I mean, this absolutely. is, when we're looking at, is this like the Atari 2600 of Oculus Rift kind of stuff? Well, we think so. I mean, one of the things you might notice on, on here, though, is if you see um, right along here, there's uh, this thing called the Leap Motion. And I've read about these, because they're yeah. the things where you can, with hand gestures, mm -hmm. right. control your mouse. You don't, you don't need a mouse anymore, you don't need a keyboard yeah, anymore. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, what well, actually, so for the, we didn't have it quite ready today, but the plan is for the Mini Maker Fair, we're actually incorporating the Leap Motion in this. Okay. So if you see these panels up here, you're I actually hit buttons. Actually, yeah. Exactly. Oh my gosh. So, so like you see you'll hands. be able to hover over them and change. Yeah, oh, exactly. Wow. There's going to be like basically a full UI that's completely within your own hands. Wow. And the applications for that are huge. You know, in terms right. of like you know, if you can imagine, you know, if you're just using your computer, if all of a sudden your you know user interface wasn't on your desktop anymore, it was in yeah. your hands. Yeah. That'd be a lot more of an interactive experience. You could flick stuff all around. That's cool. Yeah, exactly. That so that would be very cool. Yeah. That's what we're hoping to do is really kind of push the boundaries. Well, the crazy thing is the leap motion already is at the point where there's some applications that will sync up and you can already do that stuff on your computer. You can. And then you guys, the IDM guys are working on a language that helps you even type like in the air. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. cool stuff going on with that. And Wendy, this is going to be at the Maker Fair. Anybody can try this on. And this will be great fun. And we want to have you as the professional pilot. Come and try this in a minute here, because it's 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 very awesome, and I have no idea what your interface looked like. I doubt it's this awesome. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of seconds on the morning brew. I'm gonna see if I can kill some more aliens in the meantime here. Let's see here. Put this thing back on. I wish I could see how I look in this. Now where's my controls again? There we go. Uh, oh. We're gonna get there eventually. Well, it'll it'll load. There we go. <laughs> there you go. So it should load in just a second. All right. We're gonna kill. We're gonna kill some more aliens. We'll be back in a couple of seconds. Oh. In the morning, bro. Oh, there it is. Uh oh, aliens are coming to get me. <laughs>